Hi, I'm Phil Needham with Needham Ag Technologies, located in Calhoun, Kentucky. I work as an agronomist and have been helping producers across the US and Canada implement a European-style wheat management system for the past 23 years. This system has helped many producers significantly increase their yields and profits. For example, it's contributed to at least a doubling of the Kentucky state wheat yield over the past 20 years. The producers which achieve the highest and most consistent yields are often the ones that pay maximum attention to detail at seeding time, in addition to seeking uniform plant distribution and consistent emergence. They then follow up with accurate and well-timed nitrogen applications based on plant populations and yield potential. Look how uniform these crops are. Are your fields this consistent? These producers all used liquid nitrogen on their wheat crops, but why liquid nitrogen? Well, many producers used to use dry urea as a nitrogen form, but they frequently struggle with uniformity of application. For example, dry urea can indeed be spread evenly and accurately with a well-maintained air spreader like this one. But unless you have an expensive row crop unit, like what's available in Europe, you can't make in-crop applications to wheat specifically at or following the jointing stage when the majority of the wheat crop's nitrogen is required. Twin disc spreaders can apply dry fertilizer to an acceptable standard of accurately if they are regularly patent tested and adjusted. However, many materials vary from batch to batch. Plus, by the time products such as urea have made their way through a blender, into the tender truck, and up through the auger into the spinner spreader, the fines created by the process pose additional spreading problems, and streak fields can often result. Spread uniformity concerns are often made worse on windy days or when working on rolling ground when the streaks often reduce yields. Poor spread uniformity contributes to lodging problems in the over-applied areas, which also slow harvesting and further increase grain losses. Yields and profits are reduced further within the under-applied bands, so as expensive as nitrogen is, it's critical to apply the product accurately and uniformly. Most producers now operate their own high-capacity sprayer, which can deliver liquid nitrogen accurately and timely. Plus, many units are now being equipped with auto steer and swath control to further increase the standards of product application. Lastly, university research from states including Kansas and Oklahoma, plus Ontario, Canada, have all observed that slightly higher wheat yields come from stream bar applied liquid nitrogen when compared to directly to dry urea at the same rates of actual nitrogen, even when the urea is uniformly applied. In this Kansas data set, the worst yields actually came from liquid nitrogen that was broadcast applied with a sprayer using flat fan nozzles. Definitely not a recommended practice as the increased plant coverage almost always results in excessive leaf injury and lost profits. All this research is contained within our website under the stream bar section. A definite improvement to broadcasting liquid nitrogen with flat fan nozzles are indeed three, five or seven hole fertilizer caps. However, these caps have often been found to create streaks and increase crop injury, especially when working in breezy conditions at higher application rates when operating at higher forward speeds or a combination of all of the above. Fertilizer caps are also very height sensitive, so as the boom raises and lowers, such as when operating on rolling ground, it does affect distribution uniformity. Stream bars are a more accurate way of delivering liquid nitrogen to a growing wheat crop, simply because they deliver vertical streams, which means that the application pattern is consistent regardless of boom height. Even on breezy days, the stream bars still apply uniform rates of nitrogen by delivering large droplets vertically down into the crop canopy. These bounce off the leaves to minimize crop injury. The larger concentrated droplets produced by stream bars have also been found to reduce losses to volatility compared to broadcasting liquid nitrogen with flat, flat fan nozzles, for example. This is the new Schaefer multi-rate stream bar. It's stronger than previous stream bar designs, plus it's designed to speed up changes in application rate by incorporating this sliding tab with six different orifices. 
This 20 inch bar, which is used for 20 inch spacing on the sprayer, can deliver from eight to over 50 gallons per acre, assuming a 10 miles per hour forward speed on a high capacity sprayer. Specific rate, speed charts are available on request. Some manufacturers are now placing the nozzle bodies up within or behind the base of the boom structure to prevent damage to nozzles and stream bars if the boom hits the ground. If you don't have this, we strongly encourage producers to add a ski or a wheel to the booms to prevent stream bar damage, especially when working on rolling ground. 